Now, Edinburgh's at... Edinburgh's at Keeper's Zoo. Hey Keepers at Edinburgh Zoo are preparing their two champ padders for this year's breeding season. Go on, then. Yang Guang and Chen Chan <laughs> yeah. have been allowed to swap enclosures for a short time, if only that was true of us. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Do go on. The right, animals... off you go. The animals no, 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 failed to mate during last year's breeding season, but they've been showing changes in behaviour apparently in the past few days. It's thought they could be ready to breed by the end of next month. James Cook reports. Spring is in the air, but is romance about to blossom? This is a big moment as the male crosses the threshold into the female's enclosure. The pandas get to know each other through their sense of smell, so they're sniffing and scent marking as they approach the very short mating season. They appear to be warming up to the task ahead so that we're seeing behaviours that indicate they know of each other, they're interested in each other. Yang Guan is eating prodigious amounts of bamboo so he's building himself up and Tian Tian is, is vocalising. But there is pressure on the pandas to perform. The zoo is renting the bears from China for a million dollars a year. And although visitors are flocking to see them, tiny cubs would be an even bigger draw. They're amazing. It's been great. We've seen them do loads today. They've been inside and outside, so it's been really good to see them. Yeah. In order for us to protect this animal, I think we need to do more of this. And uh, I, I really hope they get it together. Well, Chan Chan here has been in Yang Guang's enclosure for a good few minutes. 